Hello everyone, my name is Chris Roberts with High and Tight here in Portland, Maine. And this is Dan Lemley. He's volunteered to be my model today. Thank you, Dan. Uh, today we're doing an exciting thing. We're talking about how to do a buzz cut. Now the key with a buzz cut is you first have to consult with your client to make sure you determine what length that you want the hair that's remaining to be. A buzz cut is simply an all over the head, same length haircut. In this case, I've talked with Dan and we're going to do a number three with a, using my wall clippers, which means that at the completion of the haircut, there will be three eighths of an inch of hair remaining on his head, all over from the front, the sides, and the back. Now these cuts are really easy to do and can be quite speedy. It's certainly something you can do from home as well as at a professional salon. But um, I take my clippers, in this case the wall clippers, and we're going to get right to town on this. Holding the clippers in whichever hand, whether your right or left hand, you want to start from the side here. You can also start from the top, you can start from the back, wherever you're most comfortable. I like to start on the side. And you're going to go up and just work the whole side, up and around the ear. Remember, ears do move, so you can pull them forward, you can pull them back, so you get nice and tight up and in and around the ear. And I like to work my way all the way around the sides through the back here, and just kind of show you as we're going along. Get right up near the top. The thing with the buzz cut is you want to make sure you're consistently covering the whole head evenly. That sometimes is the biggest challenge of your buzz cut is you're, um, you, you think like, oh, it's really easy, I'm cutting the hair all to the same length, it can't be that hard. But it's amazing how you can miss sections if you're not being careful. So you just sort of work, work your way all the way around. And the skin does move too, so you can also take your finger, you can pull the skin up to make sure that you're getting all those tight areas. If, it's, if his hair is kind of wavy and curly like Dan's is, you can wrap around, make sure the ear is moved forward, and then you go up and around there as well. Now you're going to use a smaller, a smaller clipper to kind of go in and around the edges to kind of clean up all the loose parts. So we've done the sides and the back quickly here. Now you want to switch your hand position so that you're holding your clipper up above. Now in some cases you can wrap your cord around if it's getting in the way to prevent it from uh, you know, hitting your client in the face. In this case we're just going to take it and just go right over the top. Remember around this area here, this is called the crest area of the head, the hair sometimes goes in that direction, goes in that direction. So you want to make sure you're kind of hitting it evenly from all sides here. Make sure you get the back completely. And you always want to be cutting in the opposite direction of which the hair grows. So if it's growing forward, you want to make sure that you're going from the front to the back on it. If it was growing backwards, you're going to go from the back to the front. Just make sure that you're covering and eliminating all the hair nice and even. I like to switch my hands back and forth, so in this case, I wrap the cord around to avoid it from hitting, in, hitting the front of Dan's face here. People don't like it when that happens, so you know, want to make sure that you don't do that. And So at this point, you can see the haircut is done. We've cut all the hair. It's three-eighths of an inch uniform throughout the front, the top, the sides, and the back. What I like to do, though, is you always want to kind of keep an eye over the top in case you maybe have missed an area that might be a little bit higher than another. And it's not a problem. Just sort of work it, with your, work it with your clipper so that you're covering all these areas here. Make sure it's nice and even because the more even it is, the nicer it will grow out for your client as well be more of an even haircut. It's perfect for the summertime, perfect for the, you know, the young men or young ladies in your life that want to maintain a nice short haircut through the summer. It can grow out through the summertime. Come fall, they've got a nice set of hair ready for a trim or a fade or a whole series of other different types of cuts. What you want to do? You do around the backs and the sides here. Make sure everything's nice and clean. And that would be your buzz cut right there. Now if you have, you can pick these up at a number of stores like Walmart, maybe at Sally's Beauty. They have these different little brushes. They have hard and soft bristles. What's nice about this is the hair that gets caught up on the top there 
What's really good about that is you can then brush off the, some of that loose hair to get it off of their face, get it off the top of their head, or you can send them immediately to the shower if that's what they need to do to kind of get off the loose stray hairs, which could drive people crazy. Uh, in following up, the final things I would suggest is if you have a little set of clipper, this is my Hero Clipper by Wall, really handy for doing the trimming of your neckline from the ears going behind, up and around the ears where some of the hairs might not be able to hit with the bigger clipper. It's really good for being able to clean up that area, make it nice and, un uh, nice and uniform and so that you get a nice even growth pattern. And that would be how you do a buzz cut. My name is Chris Roberts with High and Tight and this is Dan. Again, thank you Dan for uh, being our volunteer and we'll look forward to talking to you again in the future.